I think definitely playing our best tennis, you know, been working real hard throughout the spring, but always good, you know, playing better at, towards the end of the season, heading into the conference tournament, it's huge playing like very good tennis. My first time playing a championship like this with semifinals and finals, at the beginning I didn't think the, this conference could be, could be so tight because we have like three teams except in the first one with a 4-3 record and we also beat the first one, so I mean the level is very similar between both teams, uh, between all teams, so I think everyone could win this championship. And um, yeah, the other guys describe me the atmosphere that there is there, so we have to be completely fo focused in whatever like we train, whatever coach the coaches say in this week, because we know what is our potential. And if we start the match, and if we play the match as we played last weekend against Northern Illinois, we, we know that we have great chances to win the championship. I think it has a great effect on how I'm playing. The fact that if like a guy in my team is winning or he's keeping his con composure, his composure in the court, we have been we have been practicing this aspect a lot during training with the coach because he keeps playing us. The fact that if we keep our composure and we continue to be positive, even if we are down in a set from the outside, it seems like we are winning. And so this is better for everyone in the team, seeing that the other guys are performing well and they are keeping their, comp their composure, they are playing well, they are focused, even if they are losing. This is good for everyone in the team. Yeah, we're fortunate to be going to the, the conference tournament. I mean, you had teams like uh, Western Michigan started off the year uh, ranked in the top 75. Um, they had some big wins over Purdue, who I think was hovering around 50 in the country, um, Michigan State. Um, they knocked off, and then Buffalo started off the year great with some, some wins over the Ivies, and the Ivy League is unbelievable this year with the number of ranked teams in the top 50. Um, they, they scared Cornell, uh, who's been as high as I think 44 this year, and, and had them on the ropes in, in their building. Um, so you know, every match in, in the Mid American Conference, you got to show up to compete. I mean, even Toledo finishes at, at the bottom of the table, but they had a bunch of four or three matches. They're a handful of points away from you know finishing three or four, or four and three. But at the end of the day, I think the right four teams made it into the tournament, and um, it's going to be fun competition uh, to see who comes out on top. I think Ludovico was talking about some of the little things the seniors have done a good job with of focusing on it's the preparation stuff that's the most important lessons to take moving forward and and how we prepare through the week not looking past anybody focus right now the guys are really dialed in with our task at hand you know today's their rest day okay what do I need to do to maximize my rest day in terms of getting my body ready and, and, and most prepared and yesterday it was okay I need to work on these singles drills Sunday it was we need to work on these doubles drills um, and I think the seniors have really taken that from from in the upperclassmen from last year and, and just focused on that this week there hasn't really been much talk about um, matchups or the draw or, or anything like that amongst them it's just been focused on okay what do we need to do right now and and that's the biggest lessons that we can take from from last year um, and that's one of the things that this group has done a good job with you know a bunch of new guys coming in Josh Jarger coming in mid-year um, of just integrating everybody into the team and into the process of, of how we work together, um, our attitude and the way they support each other, whether they're playing, whether they're off the court, whether they're you know on the bench and all that stuff factors into keeping that positive attitude going. Because that's really the difference. You look at how tight the scores are amongst all the teams in the, in the top four of this conference. Um, and the difference is a handful of points um, on each court. And so any little edge that you can get like that makes a difference.